Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to this session. Uh, today's session is on Zentangle original pattern called Charts. I've already posted a teaser on my Facebook page just in case you had a look. So we will be learning how to draw the pattern chart today. Charts basically. Uh, very simple line based pattern. Quite similar to patterns we have already learned before such as static, uh, ing and a couple of other patterns. So lot of overlaps there. But let us first learn how to draw the pattern and then we shall as usual draw a tile together, explore some more of the pattern along with some more tangles, right? So let's get started. So charts is a pattern which starts with the zigzag line. Right, something like this, what we do in uh, many more patterns like static, ing, right? So the center line can be a little bolder. So I am kind of retracing the line once again using my bolder nib. Yeah, and then we just add aura on each side. like this and probably one more above right so that's the basic of the pattern charts now what do we do with these spaces uh, ideally we add some dots like these right if you don't want to add dots then again the opportunities are unlimited so generally we also add orbs something like these right if you don't want to do that again it has lot of possibilities because it is kind of a triangular area so you can put in a fragment there right so you can do anything you can add betweed Right, so the basic tangle goes like this, but after that, what you do with the tangle is entirely up to you. There are a lot of ways to shade it. Generally, you shade on these lines, however, you can also shade half. Yeah, so that's one more way to shade it, or you can shade on these lines. So it's a Zentangle original, one of the very early patterns. Lot of possibilities, you can play around, you can accommodate it anywhere. You can shade on one side, darken one side and let the other side be like that. So that high and low effect also you can get. Right, so let me show you a few tiles and you'll get a better picture how you can, right, use the tangle in different ways. So. This is one tile that I posted recently on my Insta page. So you can see I have drawn simple charts here, but I have woven two of them together. So this is another charts woven with the first one. Yeah, simple tangle, some dings flats and hollow bog, right? So just a simple use of charts. Uh, the speciality being two charts woven together. Yeah. Again, a simple tile with charts and some umbel and some ing. So I'm using this outer, you know, line of ing to create my pattern chart. So kind of transition is easier. Yeah. Again, the teaser that I posted where I have added those orbs or, you know, lines inside my charts, the triangular spaces that I have. Right. So this is another tile that I had posted. Charts. Simple with some Knight's Bridge and you can see I have accommodated Echoism right inside it in spite of, instead of the normal dots which are generally put in. This is again charts, simple tile where I use the latest technique of embossing which uh, Zentangling has come up in the latest project pack. Simple Toodles flower and charts right. So you can use it differently many ways. It's a simple tangle you can you know just go about accommodating it anywhere. Uh, you can you know play around so let's uh, draw a simple tile today today with the pattern charts so what we have not really tried here is probably giving a 3d look 
right so we can very easily give a 3d look to this pattern so let's try that today so what I am doing is drawing the regular zigzag right and then creating a ribbon out of it right so giving a 3d kind of look by adding these lines as if it is a folded ribbon lying on the space whatever space you have on your tile right so that's one more way you can use your charts Yes. Yeah, simple. So, rest of the space again, you can create a grid and choose a pattern of your choice. So I am probably going to go with the pattern jungle because I think the grid is apt for it right. So you can choose any pattern of your choice and then again you can add some bubbles instead of normal dots. So simple ways to play around with a simple pattern. So I am first going to add a kind of aura here, close aura. Yeah. So once we have done that, let's add some mochas and then we will add some bubbles also. So what I'm going to do here is add some nice flowy mochas, probably unfurled ones, crossing each other. Yeah. Again start with new one. This one probably we can infer. Again adding one more. You can add any tangle of your choice, whatever you feel like at that point of time. So because there are too many lines here, I thought of, you know, adding something which is a little more organic. Right. So you can add any pattern of your choice. Yeah, we'll keep it till here and then let's see if we want to add any more. Right, so I'll just with the with my pen add a broad, you know, outline wherein I intend to add some bubbles or droplets instead of simple orbs you can always add some zen by adding some droplets right so this portion let us go with the jungle grid So I'm going to just replicate this grid, 
draw lines parallel to each other some messing up here that's okay So let us start inking. So you are already, already familiar with the tangle jungle. So we are going to ink alternate spaces here. Right. So simple exercise. And I like inking here because there's not much of inking involved anywhere here so let us ink it so that it adds that drama so let me pick up my 08 yeah so let me ink it and I'll get back So take your time, don't haste up, slowly ink all the alternate sections. So I have inked the jungle the way it is generally with alternate spaces and we went wrong with the grid, something went wrong here, right? So I am not going to add jungle there instead I'm just going to convert it into hollow ball yeah so some zigzag lines is all that I am going to do in this section right of our jungle so going with that hollow ball right so since we have mukas over so looks nice and a nice break to the inking also right so things do happen when you are drawing a grid tangle especially so either keep the tile aside and take it up again later or you have the choice to add some drama tangles over it let your creativity flow add something to it right so that's one way to deal just re-emphasizing the outer aura yeah so one or two lines more here and there right so let us now uh, start to shade it's a simple tile so not much that we need to do so I'm going to start shading right away so charts I'm going to add shading on both sides where lines are going under the lines are starting from lines are ending simple version nice way to play around So let us blend.
So hope you enjoyed my series on tangled bouquets. Thank you for all your comments and appreciation. I really look forward to them. It keeps me going. Yeah, simple shading just like we do for Coford. Yeah, and then we can add some shading to our jungle. So, generally, where lines are going up, so leave one. So, you can add shading anyways. Right. And then you can add some dark. So this messed up grid is actually becoming a highlight of the tile. You will see soon realize that. Yeah. <laughs> so just keep your cool and get back to the tile a little later or just give it a Bronx cheer or some other drama tangle and you are sorted yeah so now let us add a little to our mochas also and then we shall move on to so you can if you want add small orbs in between your mukas they will definitely add add that rounding at the corners where lines are turning Yeah, wherever there are small little enclosed spaces, just add some orbs. Small little things that add to the look. some small spaces like these it adds immediately to the look you can also add some auras like these yeah so a lot of things that you can about doing to add to the look yeah so let us keep it like this small little things small auras I'm now going to blend the pod heads the pods okay if you have missed one or two what is already there on your total lawn is enough to handle that yeah some darkness here from where the lines are emanating yeah and then finally moving on to our droplets so just with your pencil Add a small white patch, whatever space is left, space is pretty small so 
I'm just adding a small white patch and then adding an aura inside. Yeah. Probably if you have a smaller total on to blend it would be better. Yeah, so I picked up a really thin one here. Just grab one if you have and then just blend the inside. Try leave a highlight in the middle. Just a soft touch, spaces are small. So it's just a small deviation from the routine dots that we put. Right, so small little things that you can do to add. And you can always use your jelly roll and add some dots. Re-emphasize the dots. This is not showing much. Yeah. Just adding a little whiteness to the dots. The empty space. Yeah. And you can always add a touch of darkness here. Again, spaces are small, so be careful. You don't want to blend too much. Yeah, just add a touch and then with a small little Just a shadow. I think this is much easier to do with colors, I think. Yeah. So let us highlight a little. So here's my chalk pencil. And the other side, I'm going to highlight my jungle. Right. And you can highlight the center here. And just pick up another dot lawn and smudge it. Just blend it a little so that doesn't look patchy. Yeah, and I think we are done. If you want, you can re-emphasize your lines a little. That's about it. Don't need anything else here. Just a bit of rounding here and there to add some nice character to our mochas. Small little things that you can do to add to the look some ink at the turnings yeah. yeah that's about it 
and we are done. Yeah. So I'm going to close my tile here. Sign and date it. Today is 18th of December. So that's the pattern charts. So that's a variation and you can try so many different things with the same pattern. So we'll meet again with another Zentangle original. Do catch up with my new upcoming series wherein we will play with the walls, uh, walls uh, that is A-E-I-O-U and create beautiful borders. Right. Till then have a good time. Bye bye. Stay safe.